वेलकम टू फंक्शनल इंग्लिश क्लास इट्स आर सेकेंड लेक्चर इन फ्रेज वी विल डिस्कस फ्रेज एंड क्लॉज फ्रेज अ फ्रेज इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड दैट डज नॉट हैव अ सब्जेक्ट एंड अ प्रेडिकेट ऑफ इट्स ओन बट एक्स एज अ यूनिट इट हैज सम सेंस बट डज नॉट एक्सप्रेस अ कम्प्लीट थाट thus it forms the part of a clause so if we can say that phrase and clause both are parts of the sentence difference between the phrase and clause is phrase does not has its subject and predicate it does not convey complete sense but a clause has a subject and a predicate of its own sometimes a clause conveys complete sense and sometimes it conveys incomplete sense so clause is a part of sentence phrase is also a part of sentence but phrase is can also be the part of a clause for example ahmed ran quickly my brother is running very quickly so these all are phrases my brother is a phrase that acts like the noun phrase we call it noun phrase is running verb phrase very quickly adjective phrase now come to the kinds of phrases noun phrase A noun phrase is a word or group of words which does not have a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of a noun. Simply when a phrase works as a noun that is called noun phrase. She is a good teacher. The rich should not look down upon the poor. In both examples she is a noun phrase. good teacher is also a noun phrase the rich and the poor number 2 is infinitive phrase a phrase that does the work of an infinitive is called infinitive phrase for example i want to help the poor to save money was his goal i plan to arrive before noon Actually, infinitive is made when we use to with the first form of the verb. Usually, we use to with the first form of the verb when there comes two verbs in one sentence. So, here to help, to save, to arrive are infinitive phrase. Gerund. A phrase that does a work of a gerund is called gerund phrase. Gerund is usually made by using I and ing with the first form of the verb. Gerund works as a noun and as a verb both. I like swimming. Walking in the morning is useful for health. Writing letters to former students is my hobby. Here, swimming, walking in the morning. writing letters to former students these all x like gerund phrase now come to the fourth kind of the phrase verb phrase a verb phrase consists of either a main verb or a main verb plus one or more auxiliary verbs she reads two story books every week she is reading a story book about animals she has been reading story book for 3 hours adjective phrase a phrase that does the work of an adjective is called adjective phrase she is beautiful he is a man of great wealth the man in the car is my brother so beautiful man of great wealth and in the car
these all act as adjective phrase next comes participle phrase a phrase that does the work of a participle is called participle phrase it can uh, consist of either a present participle or a past participle or may have some modifiers for example i saw her smiling i saw her smiling throwing smiles on us he left the room persuaded by his parents he applied for admission to the university here smiling throwing smiles on us persuaded by his parents stands as participle phrase adverb phrase a phrase that does the work of a of an adverb is called adverb phrase he ran quickly he ran very quickly he ran with great speed next comes prepositional phrase a prepositional phrase consists of a preposition followed by a prepositional com uh, complement either a noun or a clause or an ing clause there were 50 students in the lecture hall we were not sure of what he said she brightened the house by putting fresh flowers in every room so it's all about phrase and its kinds now come to clause a group of words which has a subject and a predicate of its own is called a clause sometimes it acts like a sentence and sometimes it forms a part of a sentence for example birds fly in the air they rested when the evening came night came on and rain fell heavily and we all got wet so you can see that a simple sentence has a single clause it can act like a sentence also in the second sentence we have two clauses they rested when the evening came in the third it's a compound sentence and we have three clauses night came on and rain fell heavily and we all got wet In the first sentence there is only one clause as it has only one subject and one verb. In the second sentence there are two clauses as there are two subjects and two verbs in the sentence. In the third sentence there are three clauses as there are three subjects and three verbs in this sentence. Now come to the kinds of clauses. Main clause or principal clause. When a clause makes a complete sen sense that is when a clause can stand by itself as a complete sentence it is called main clause or principal clause for example she goes to college daily she does not go to college daily does she go to college daily subordinate or dependent clause when a clause cannot stand by itself and depends on the main clause to make good sense it is called subordinate clause a or dependent clause it is thus not a complete sentence but the part of a sentence for example they rested when the evening came she came to see me when i was not at home in sentence one they rested is a main clause while when the evening came is a subordinate clause Similarly, in sentence 2, she came to see me is a main clause, while when I was not at home is a subordinate clause. Next comes coordinate clauses or independent clauses. When there are two or more clauses in a sentence and each clause can stand by itself, 
Each clause makes a good sense. They are called coordinate clauses or independent clauses. Each coordinate clause is of the same rank or order and is dependent independent of the other. For example, she came to see me, but I was not at home. She failed, but she did not lose heart. If we separate them, they can stand by themselves. For example, she came to see me is a complete sentence. I was not at home is also a complete sentence. So, yesterday we discussed sentence. Today we discussed clause and phrase. Now I am going to give you an assignment in which you have to choose some paragraphs from a newspaper and you have to analyze them and separate sentences different kinds of sentences clauses kinds of clauses phrase and kinds of phrases from the paragraphs you have to select at least five paragraph and you have to make an assignment okay allah hafiz inshallah we will meet in the next lecture next week